Hey guys, I'm Mariana if you do here. If you're not, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave and hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that there will be links in the description box down below to help support the Black Lives Matter movement. There will be links to petitions, donations, and more information to help support the Black Lives Matter movement. If you haven't already, please don't forget to check that out. I've been putting them in my description box for the past few weeks, so please check it out if you haven't already. For today's video, I will be showing you guys a really easy way to do a nice vibrant colorful summer half cut crease look and the palettes that i'm going to be using today are these so i'm going to be dipping into a couple i'm going to be using this ace beauté scarlet dusk palette i really like this palette because it's super pigmented and it has a really nice range of shades for like a nice sunset look i'm going to be using this orange shade right here and this deeper red orange shade as well um, so this is what the palette looks like and I'm only going to be using a couple shades in this palette. I'm also going to be using the T BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. Um, this palette is discontinued but this is the only rainbow palette I have. And I'm going to be using these yellow shades and also this bright red shade. And these are the couple yellow shades that I have available to me so this is what I'm going to be using. So now we're going to get on to the tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is prepping my lids. So I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Stand Stable. So I just like to put this on my lid and blend it out just to prep my lids for the shadows. So that when I'm going for like a vibrant colorful look, I have a really nice base, like a blank canvas on my lids. And then I'm just going to blend it out with this Real Techniques brush. So I'm just covering the whole entire base of my lid and making Making sure that it is nice and smooth and prepped and white <laughs> so the colors really show out and I'm going to take it all the way up to the arch of my brow bone and now I'm going to go in with this shade from the Ace Beauté palette so I'm actually taking the shade next to it I made a mistake I took the lightest orange shade and now I'm just going to pack that onto my crease so what I'm doing is I'm picking up the shade on my blending brush and this is from Lavish Cosmetics and I got this brush in my BoxyCharm box as well. So I'm just going to pack this on to my crease. And then I'm going to blend it out after. So I'm focusing on getting the pigment onto my crease before I blend it out. Just so that it is very vibrant. And then I'm going to blend out the edges later. So that the shade and pigment is on my lid so you can see it. And then I'm going to focus on blending out the edges and make sure that it looks really seamless and really blended. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just packing on the pigment onto my crease area. It's like right above my crease, but still in my crease. And then I'm also just blending it out after the color is on there. I'm also going to extend it out toward my temples just to get a really pretty cat eye uplifting eye shape. Now I'm going to dip into this actual orange shade that I said I was using before, but I'm actually using it now. So I'm just going to put this in my crease. So this is going to go a little bit lower than the last shade, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. So I'm just trying to pack on as much pigment as I can onto my crease, and then I'm going to worry about blending it out later. So I am pushing it into my skin, and then I'm using windshield wiper motions to blend it in with the last shade. And I'm also going to extend it out toward my temples just to create a really nice eye uplifted eye shape look. So like I said, I'm using windshield wiper motions and I'm trying to blend it in with the last shade and really get a lot of pigment on there. Like I said, this look is going to be really vibrant and colorful. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, packing on the pigment onto my crease and then I'm going to blend it out later after I see a good amount of color onto my lid. And then blend it in with the last shade. Also dragging it out toward my temples. And that is about it for this shade. So the next shade that I'm going to be taking is this red shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. Um, and I'm going to be taking this on a shader brush. So this brush is like more small, smaller and more dense. So I'm just going to be focusing this on my outer corner. And I'm just going to bring it in a little bit onto my crease. So this is going to be the darkest shade that I'm going to be using. But it is still pretty vibrant. So I'm just packing this on my outer corner. And then I'm going to extend it into my crease area more towards the inner corner. But just leaving it on my crease and trying to avoid 
putting it on my actual lids in the inner corner because I am doing a half cut crease look. So next I'm going to take the last blending brush that I was using by Lavish Cosmetics and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges and I am not picking up any more product on the brush and I'm just making sure that everything is seamless, everything is blended together and making sure that you can't see any harsh lines or you can't tell when anything stops or starts. Now I'm going to be taking my concealer brush and I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. So I am doing a half cut crease so this is not going to be extended all the way toward the outer corner of my eye. But what I'm going to be doing is just putting a little bit of concealer on the brush. This is the same concealer that I used to prep my lids. And I'm just placing a little bit on the inner corner of my eye. And then I open my eye just to map out where I want the concealer and the other shade to show. And I don't know if you saw but I actually extended it a little bit higher than where my lid stopped so you can actually see the color of the yellow when I open my eyes so I'm doing the same thing over here I'm putting a little bit of the shade and trying to map out my crease and as you can see when I open my eyes it kind of disappears so I'm just going to bring the concealer a little bit higher than my actual lid just so you can see everything if my eyes are open so I'm just mapping out my lid like I said and I'm going to fill in the whole area with concealer just to make sure that the base is really nice and clean for the yellow shade. So I'm just going to blend everything out and this is my base for the half cut crease. I also like to extend the end of the top of the cut crease because I just like the way that it looks. And I actually had a little bit of a problem so I felt like the eyeshadow that I was using the yellow eyeshadow was actually a little bit patchy so I decided to start over so now instead of using concealer I uh, took my wet n wild paint palette that I got for Halloween and I'm actually going to cut my crease with this but I feel like if you use a more of a full coverage concealer um, then you would get a really nice base for the cut crease um, and I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, so I just felt like it didn't work really well. And I also use the yellow from the BH Cosmetics palette. Um, and I don't recommend this palette, even though it is discontinued. This palette is nothing that you're missing out on. It really isn't that great. It was super cheap, um, but this is the only rainbow palette that I have, so that's what I have to work with. So I decided to use what I have and try to make it work. That's why I went in with the Wet n Wild Paint Palette. So I'm just going to be cutting my crease and making a yellow base instead of a concealer base for the yellow part of the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to try to make sure that it's as even as possible on the lid. And I'm going to go in with eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow, I actually took the yellow from the Anastasia Prism Palette because I felt like the shadow quality was so much better than the BH Cosmetics yellow. The BH Cosmetics red was actually pretty good. It's like some of the shades in that palette are like a hit or miss, but... I like to use the yellow from the Prism palette on the Anastasia palette and I feel like it came out really well. So like as you can see it's not that patchy but hopefully you have better options than I do and you also don't even have to go in with these colors if you want to do a look like this. You can do any type of color combination. I was trying to go for something really vibrant, really contrasting and I feel like it came out really nice. So the next thing that I'm doing is I'm going to blend in the outer edge of the yellow with the red. So I actually took my blending brush but I swapped it out for the shader brush because it allows me to have more control because it is smaller and dense. So I'm picking up a little bit more of the red and I'm actually going to go in on the edge of the yellow where the yellow meets the red and I'm just going to pack a little bit of red on and just try to fade it into the yellow. I also like when I do half cut creases, I like to make the red or that outer corner shade go in diagonally into the lighter shade because I just feel like it makes my eyes look more interesting and I just really like the shape of it. So I'm just trying to blend the two shades together and they are pretty opposite of each other so it is a little bit difficult. But you just have to release the pressure as you get more into the yellow and you just have to know where to stop. So I didn't go in too far, but I still tried to make it look like everything was meshing together really well. So the last thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush, which is just a really big fluffy blending brush. And I like to pass it over the edges of my eyeshadow just to make sure that everything is really blended out. 
there's no harsh lines and everything it just meshes together really well again so now i'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes and liner and this is the finished look so you definitely don't have to go in with liner if you don't want to because I felt like this look looked fine without it. But I feel like the colors that I chose would have looked really good with black liner and this is what I have going on. So this is the final look. I really hope that you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. You can go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to check out those links in my description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!